folks, George D. DJ here. Today, I want to show you a way you can place lights on top of the EV Evolve 50. Now, the system I'm going to be using is the Chave DJ Freedom H1s. Uh, there are a lot of good videos out here on what these lights do. They're 10 watts, have decent brightness for a small or medium sized crowd, or if you're trying to use these for accent lighting or, or wash. Um, their program's built in. Of course, you have uh, DMX you can use, um, Sound Active, which is what I'll be using. You can master slave them. So I have two packs of these. Uh, what is it? They come in a four pack, right? So there's a, you actually have four lights all inside the little case here. And I'm going to take two of them. So you need to get um, some command strips by 3M. I got this pack. Uh, off of Amazon. Yes. You want to remove this little brace here from the side. Keep your screws and washers and just put it back in the case when you finish. You can just use two and spread them out, but to try to keep things neat, you want to actually use three. Now that I have a set of three, it should fit pretty much perfectly right in the middle there. I am going to cut off the little tabs in the back. Almost the perfect length. But when I put them on the bottom side, as you can see here, what I'm hoping to do is to have that line up right at that edge just to keep it looking really neat. But just a little over. So I'm going to cut off. What's that like? Maybe maybe what a quarter of an inch so it appears two and three quarters inch is what I need I'm gonna cut four three piece sections Okay, so you can see I've got four little sections done. Obviously, one on each light and one on each uh, EV of all 50. Okay, so not real technical here. Uh, you place those three strips of tape on the back of the H1. Make sure you press down on it real good. They say for about 30 seconds for a good contact. Okay, and we put a section, of course, on top of the EV of all 50s. Make sure this tied down really good. Okay, and then we're gonna set our light right here. So here's a better view of me attaching the light. Um, once you set it on top, you actually have to Push down pretty firmly over the entire fixture. And then, and to remove the light, you simply, I pull from the front or the side or the back. And again, you could remove the uh, command strips or just leave them on there if you decide to leave them on. Let's come over here. Place them in your case, just like I would. Or if you decide to leave this on, remember most of the time this top is going to be over six feet. But even if you could see the top, oh, not too bad. For sure, to just leave that on. Of course, this just fits back in the bag just like before. No problem. Let's go put this other one together and then connect them. Okay, the one thing you want to make sure you remember is that you can use uh, the FlareCon and the FlareCon app or the DeFi Hub to control these little H1 lights. Um, I'm going to just use the remote today. I do have a gig coming up in about 10 days that I'll hopefully be able to take some pictures or a little video of and show you what this looks like in the real world. 
But uh, let's see how it looks today just in my garage. it was for me to set these up uh, I think it's very safe um, this may be something that'll work for you I'm Georgia DJ and as always thanks for watching